The beach is closed today. They had a shark attack. She said the beach is closed because they had a shark attack. We're not going to the beach. day to be in Nassau. We're gonna eat some breakfast, go find Tim and Bridget, and hopefully it'll be time to get off board and go to Margaritaville. Breakfast time, breakfast time, party door, yeah. We're just eating breakfast at the Blue Iguana right now. I got a breakfast burrito and an arapa. Never tried one of those, so pretty pumped, so. We were discussing as we were going up the stairs that we're probably gonna skip the Lido buffet and head over to Blue Iguana and have some Mexican breakfast. Yum. Well, Blue Iguana, you've got the burrito side, and then you've got the taco side. And let me tell you what, the taco side's where it's at. Arapas and churros. Super yummy. So I got the uh, huevos rancheros and the arapas for breakfast this morning. They're uh, corn, like a masa and cheese, maybe. I haven't dug into them yet, and I also, the way those rancheros is just the tortilla, beans, chicken, and then I threw some salsas and uh, sour cream on them both. Land ho! Land ho! So pretty. I got arapas and a ranchero taco. I got two arapas, added a little creme fraiche on top lemon poppy seed muffin, cream cheese danish, I like a little sweet with my salty in the morning, and a chalky milk. The arapas are stuffed with melty cheese and they got a little hint of sweet to it. It's very delicious. So I'm just chilling in the serenity deck. Um, I'm waiting for all the other mittens to get ready so we can go explore Nassau and uh, head to Margaritaville. Our cruise director did just come over the intercom and say that Nassau has been reporting a lot of high crime in the area and informed us that we should all stay in the tourist area. Just something to know if you plan on heading this way anytime soon. This has to be one of my favorite parts about the cruise, waking up on port days and looking outside and just seeing the beautiful blue water really pretty palm trees and everything. It's so peaceful. It appears we are going to dock at one of the furthest places you can dock away from the port. It's right over there is where you come out. Uh, there's a lot of construction going on over here in NASA. Uh, they're getting ready to make this port super, super beautiful. We'll try to get a shot of their future plans that they've got over there. I've seen a couple of Royal Caribbean ships. Uh, off into the distance that'll also be joining us here in port today. Over in the distance we can see the straw markets, the orange and yellow building, and actually Margaritaville is way over there as well. You can see Junkanoo Beach over there in the distance. Margaritaville is just behind it. That is where the water park is at that we're going to be walking to. So it's not super difficult to get there at all. Jeff and the men's first time in the Bahamas. They are officially on the pier. Woo! We are like the furthest ship away from everything. So let's start our five minute hike. Independence of the sea and the freedom of the sea, which are Royal Caribbean ships. And then we've got a bunch of ridiculous mermaids. Welcome to the cruise. <laughs> All right, guys, let's continue the five minute hike. I guess we're not a vehicle today, we're going to be pedestrians. Taco Bell, give me a yeah, I'm going to there. <laughs> That's not a cruise ship. Oh, yeah, this is the one Amanda bought us this. On our 
business credit card, I bought this. I'm convinced that they're building a cruise gladiator stadium <laughs> for all those ridiculous drunk guys who abuse their cheers package. Coming in 2022, taking Nassau to the next level. It's a live construction site. All right. Doesn't look like there's anybody here scanning us to get off the port, so that's pretty cool. Sometimes they take temperature checks. But we should be good here, it looks like. Y'all reach. It's exit time. <laughs> hey, yo, vacation, baby. Not today, my man. We're all set. We're all set. These guys are ready to go. You want to cut over to the other side? I sure do. Oh, oh, you see that there, Bridgie? The words at the top of that sign. Rum cake. We're gonna have to get one of those with a Sunday later. Rum cake. So we just took a right as soon as we got out of the port, and we're just gonna go down to the end of the street until you can't go down to the end of the street anymore. What up, bird bro? Yo. Nassau. Oh, oh, Let's be dangerous. Pirate public. Mm, the rum must be gone. Oh, it's as if baby shark grew up. Sharkies. Girls, get your hair braided today. Welcome to the alley. Everybody get your hair braided. Hey, Bridget, this is awesome. I've got one already. Thank you. Okay. Slow market, guys. Come on up. We'll be over later. All right. We're going to see Lisa. On a mission. The beach is closed today. They had a shop. I'm happy they got all the doors open now, though. <laughs> she, said the she said the beach is closed because they had a shark attack. <laughs> We're not going to the beach. Yeah. See, they already tried to put the bracelet on. Huh? Be careful, folks. If they try to walk up to you and put stuff on you, you're going to have to pay for it. Walk away. If they don't thank you, don't let them do it. How are you going to get, get out, out of, it? of it? I have no clue, well, but get just get up in there. Are you going to help me out? No. I'm you going to see this thing? No. <laughs> She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> All right. Let's continue on down the street. We'll stay on the sidewalk. Bridget, where are we going? We are headed to Margaritaville. The resort, we also have a water park. We got some day passes. Enjoy the lazy river. Hey! The lazy river. We are still on Navy Lion Road. However, later today, we will be going down Bay Street to stop at the Main Street Ice Cream Parlor. We're gonna get a giant rum cake Sunday. They are rad. Other than the construction area, we've been on the sidewalk the entire time. Very, very simple walk. People in scooters or wheelchairs can definitely make it. Uh, as long as they have a little bit of assistance for the first portion there where all that construction was. Just because you gotta jump between sidewalks because things are a little narrow at the beginning. This is the British Colonial uh, that has its own private beach. There were day passes available for this at one point. I found your next cruise outfit. There's four outfits. Where are we headed, Amanda? Margaritaville! We're here at Margaritaville. We made it. It was about a 10, 15 minute walk. Could have um, been shorter. Could have been shorter, but we stopped at Senior Frogs. Photo opportunities. You know. It's safe. <laughs> so we're about to head in. Kim's got our passes. Shortly to show you around. Woo -woo. See ya. All right, so we 
we found our entrance. We're gonna go get our tickets and get our pool on. Open sesame. Open sesame! I fire it. Alright, let's try it. <clears throat> Open sesame! Open sesame! <laughs> yes! Magical! debit card, credit card, or if you're staying at the resort, you can do a room charge. We're making our way over to get some food right now. Yep. This is a little snacky snack. They got your basics, your burger, your hot dog, your chicken wraps. Chicken sandwiches, turkey sandwich. Uh, we're just gonna grab something small to eat. I mean, we've got a cruise ship to go back to, so. Yeah, it's <laughs> cheers package. Let's see what we get. A non cheers package drink. 
we came down here about noon uh, to order the food and Jeff has been in line for about 40 minutes now waiting for it to come up. We did, however, get one of the tables and chairs of the six that are available. So at least we got that going for us. We can be comfy while Jeff has to wait in line. Uh, but the whole resort here uh, is at capacity. There were no more tickets that you could purchase online at least. Uh, so we'll see how much longer it takes, but it really doesn't feel overly crowded because people can go and use the beach. It's a beautiful beach day, uh, but yeah, we're having a great time. We highly recommend this place right now. Weekend update. We've been sitting here for about 12 hours. Still no food. Both the boys look like grumpy dads in line waiting for our two meals that we're going to share. All we got were fries and a hot dog. Hot dog. That's, That's it. it. That's it. We just are hoping we have enough time to get back into the Lazy River a little bit longer and hit up a couple of the shops so we can get our tourist magnets. We'll keep you updated. We'll see you again in 12 hours when we get our food. Bye. It is 1.16, which means it's been an hour and 15 minutes or so since they placed their food order. Jeff so graciously waited in line um, but the, the feeding frenzy has no order for how they fulfill orders um, the, the servers they don't pay attention to anybody outside they, they do their best to avoid eye contact with everybody um, it, it was rough the food has come out cold um, I think I ordered an hour and a half ago. It's melted completely. We're, we're, we're not complainers, but these are things that you know you read in reviews. You go, oh no, it's not going to happen when you show up. And uh, on this day, it happened to everybody that was in line. So note that. But now it's time to eat our hot dogs. Yeah. All right. Let's get rid of this cloudy day and get back in the sunshine. We're gonna hop back in the lazy river and have a little bit of water fun. Here we go. Sunshine. We just had a blast here at Margaritaville Resort at Nassau. Me and Bridget did water slides. I even jumped off the diving platform and I am petrified of heights. So that was a big, a big step for me. Yeah. I think our favorite part was the Lazy River. Oh, yeah. oh absolutely. Part. I think we Lazy River for 75% of the time. We turned it here. more into like a race car yeah, track. Lazy but... for a while. It was a different type of adventure. Just all together. I mean, if, if I had to break down, break it down by percentages, we spent 75% of the time in the Lazy River, 
uh, about 500% of the time <laughs> at the uh, restaurant waiting to get our food. Uh, just and, fries and a hot dog. And about 5% of our time up the at the... That, the name of that restaurant is, is appropriately named. It's the Feeding Frenzy. I mean, you get everybody sitting there hungry and waiting for an hour to get their food. And it, just, it was interesting. Yeah, yeah, it was. So now we're going to uh, start making our way back to the ship, and we're gonna do some shopping and possibly find some snacks, right, guys? Right. Yep. Right. Right. Awesome. We gotta expand our stomachs. Would you guys come back to Margaritaville, Fins Up Resort? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe bring my own snack. Next time. Or try the pizza place. Yeah. Oh, and I know we may have mentioned it earlier. Make sure you have a credit card. They are yes. a cashless resort for everything. All right, back down the street. Just a couple turns and we'll be back in the heart of the downtown area over by the port where we'll find some shopping and maybe a snack. You know, maybe that Sunday that I've been looking forward to since December. <laughs> Remember guys, Carnival does not want you to rent any scooters or mopeds, so don't do it. There are three right here though, you know. There are three. If there were four, if there were four, there would have been a better opportunity for us to do this. you behind. <laughs> what? 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 My guess is the, the Rugrats? Yeah. Somebody, somebody's jamming Rugrats right now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's an ice cream truck jamming the Rugrats into the Nassau, the Bahamas. All right, we're making the next turn here and then we're going to be crossing the street to go to a place that Bridget and I discovered on our honeymoon cruise. They have a gigantic rum cake sundae, and it is tasty. We're gonna follow everybody else here and go across the street like good pedestrian vacation travelers. And now we are back on the sidewalk. Next stop, snack. Jeff and Amanda are heading to another store. We might split up. We'll see how that goes in just a second. Bye. Make Bye. Going to the salted dog to get a snack. And then to go get the treats, we're gonna dance our way up the staircase to the second floor. We stumbled across this on accident last time we were here. I just really wanted to try rum cake for the first time. The Main Street Ice Cream Parlor, where we're going to go to the home of the original rum cake sundae. Now we are going to enjoy our delicious rum cake treat. The rum has officially arrived. <laughs> right on the corner of the street of George and Bay Street. The cruise ship is over in that direction and when we go to leave, we'll just head down there and hang a right when we reach the sidewalk. So we just left Tim and Bridget at some place so they can get their rum cake sundae. Uh, we uh, stopped into a couple souvenir shops and picked up a few magnets. Masks still are required inside, so make sure you bring one. Yep, make sure. It is the law. So make sure you have a mask. Honestly, we're ready to get a snack. Yeah. Get back on the ship, get out of our bathing suit. The $35 we spent between a shared side of fries and one drink. I need some food and liquid in me. Uh-huh. Well, maybe we'll get some ice cream and maybe a burger and some tacos if they're still open. Yep. Maybe too, too late for those, but... I ain't no stranger. I know that truck. That's a four ranger. Make our way back to the ship, yo. It's sad. <laughs> Definitely enjoy the Bahamas. We're getting back on the boat here. So you need your card and your ID. Back on board when you get me a milkshake. 
Gonna get me a Neapolitan one with a splash of Bailey's in it. Go back to the room. Maybe get ready for dinner a little later. Mm. We're gonna skip the MDR tonight because we want to make it to the special deal or no deal game show that they're gonna have. The MDR can take a little while sometimes, so we're gonna hit up the Lido Buffet and we might hit up the sushi joint too. Uh, I've never done something like that on the ships, but Jeff and Amanda have, so they're gonna show us the rooms. And we've made it back to our room. Let's go Ooh. get changed. Let's see if there's a tiny little animal. <gasps> oh, good call. We got the puppy dog today. And I will name him after our tour guide dog when we went side by siding. This is Sam, everybody. Well, this is our first buffet dinner, or even lunch for that matter. Let's go see what they got. I'll grab myself a plate. Wish me luck. Buffet and record. Buffet and record. Yeah. Our plates compared to the ladies. Oh. We made mistakes and grabbed small plates. <laughs> what? Why do we have salad plates, dude? All right, well, let's see. Good eats. That's the menu for tonight. Oh, Timmy's gonna get some fried rice because he likes it with the egg. Yeah. Linguini and Italian sausage. This should be the Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. Yes, please. The fried chicken. Oh, I'm gonna try all the things. I'm gonna go with a salmon cake because why not? Roast strip loin. That'll be good with everything. Grilled tofu, skillet potatoes. We got breads. Looks like we got soups, breads, gluten-free breads, applesauce. What did you get over there? What was that mean? This is pork. Oh, maple glazed pork. Thank you, kind sir. Get just a little au jus here, just a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right, that was one station in the buffet, man. We have to go sit down now. All right, so food update for the girls. We hated it. <laughs> We're gonna go get pizza or something. I mean, you got pizza. It wasn't good. The buffet let us down immensely. Captain's vlog out. All right, so dinner was definitely a bust. We'll be getting a snack later. We're headed to deal or no deal. Ticket sales in the theater. Wish us luck, hopefully um, we win. Yeah, so the mittens are on a winning streak, so hopefully somebody gets pulled up on stage for that and win us some more money. So Bridget and I are gonna play Deal or No Deal on the cruise ship for the first time. We got about 45 more minutes until the game show starts, but uh, we're feeling confident. It's Bridget's turn to be lucky. All right, so there is a flap on the bottom of that card that you're going to lift up and it's gonna have a number. That number is going to be randomly generated on the screen, and that determines who gets to come up here and play. For everyone else that's out in the audience, you're still playing to win a lot of prizes. How that's going to work is when they open a case up here on stage, say they open case number seven, you are going to open the same case on your card. If the values in the cases match, say their case seven has five dollars and your case seven has five dollars, that's a match. The more matches you get, the higher the prize you're going to win. You should be feeling lucky. Now, it was on for almost 14 years, hosted by who? Howie Mandel. That's right, it was hosted by Howie Mandel. And here on the Sunshine, unfortunately, we don't have the budget for Howie Mandel to be your host tonight, so you're stuck with his doppelganger. And that's me. Not only are we both eternal homes, but we have the same barber as well. I hope the maker's call it. Hello? Oh. No, He's laughing because he knocked off a thousand dollars already. Yeah, Alright, he said he's gonna make you an offer right now for those pearls around your neck. Last one was hundred and ten dollars. It's got up to hundred and twenty-four dollars. Oh, audience doesn't like it. Now, Missy, if you say no deal, you do have to open three more cases in the next round before your next offer. Three. Three more.
And who out there has won on cash grades so far? Victoria! 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 Hi! Five hundred! Five hundred dollars? Yeah, boy! Yeah! Give it up for those people! I am like a dry, salty pretzel right now that nobody wants at the bottom of the Chex Mix bag. You are literally the only one who has not won $500 or above yet. No, no. Or twice, mind you. Okay, guys, look at the Love and Marriage show is about to start. Hey, we got that five grand bingo on Friday with our two bingo tickets. All right, well, good luck, Bridget. Hope you win. Hey, you all can suck it. And we're going to go get some food. Yeah, it's been a blast. We're going to go get some sushi. <laughs> Sister-in-law. Yes. 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 Good job, sister-in-law. Yes. Pick it up. I'm going to pick it up. I'm trying. I'm trying. Pick it up in the middle. I'm trying hard. There you go. Right here. This is legitimately my first time ever doing this. Here we go. So how is it? You've never had sushi before, so you don't know what to expect. There's some spice. It's much more fish forward, right? It's fresh, though. It is. Like, I mean, I've had Chinese buffets. This is fresh. Like, that's really good. Oh, um, see how great it's with. I'm taking the meat off this. What is this? This is wasabi. It's very spicy. Uh, I normally choose not to put it on my food. Tim and I are going to both throw a brick of it in our mouth. I want that one. If Jeffy does it, I'll do it. Show me, bro. He did it. <laughs> it was a good life. <laughs> I didn't chew it. I legitimately just swallowed it. Good job, little bro. Mine was three times as big as yours, Tim. <laughs> It's true. It was. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. It's after midnight. We had an absolute blast in Nassau today. All of us, the whole group, loved every moment we were there. And we loved every moment we were back on the ship. <laughs> but I'm going to try to be quiet. And we're going to go to bed. So I'm signing off for everybody tonight. We'll see you tomorrow morning when we get to Half Moon Key. And we're going to hang out on the private island. Good night.